Hello everyone, welcome to my High Celebrities News Channel. The story for today is Elizabeth Hurley has sent her heartfelt condolences to Shane Warne's youngest daughter, Summer, as the cricket legend's family continues to mourn his death. Summer, 20, on Tuesday shared a gallery of photos to Instagram to pay tribute to her beloved father, who died in Koh Samui, Thailand, on Friday from natural causes. Below her heartfelt post, British actress Liz, 56, who was in a relationship with Shane from 2010 to 2013, commented, I love you, Summer. Your daddy worshipped you. Summer is Warren's youngest child by his former wife, Simone Callahan, to whom he was married between 1995 and 2005. She has two older siblings, Brooke, 24, and Jackson, 23. Grieving Summer wrote, There are no words. It feels like I'm dreaming, waiting for someone to wake me up and tell me that you're okay. This can't be real life, there's no way that life is this cruel to the most beautiful people on this earth. There's no way that I will never hear your soft voice again telling me that everything is going to be okay or how proud you are of me, or simply saying good night, good morning, or I love you. She also shared tender family photos of herself and her father, in one, the pair are seen lying in bed with their eyes closed, while in the other they embrace each other while smiling broadly. Summer's words came after Elizabeth broke her silence on the death of her ex-fiancé Shane, writing, I feel like the sun has gone behind a cloud forever. Rip my beloved lion heart at Shane Warn 23. Warn, who died suddenly from a heart attack while on a lad's holiday, had told ABC host Lee Sales in 2018 he wanted to become a better person when dating Elizabeth back in 2010. Shane and Elizabeth first got together in late 2010, before he popped the question to the Austin Powers actress in September 2011, but they sadly split in 2013. He said of the romance in 2018, who knows what the future holds, there's a difference between in love with someone and loving someone. He'll always love Elizabeth, but I don't think we'll ever get back together. Warren's words came after he branded his romance with Elizabeth as being the happiest time of his life. The cricketer reflected back on his romance with Elizabeth, saying, when we were together we both had a great time. Unfortunately it didn't work out, it wasn't something that she or I did wrong, it just fizzled out. We're still great friends, we still stay in touch, we're good for each other and our kids get along great. He told the mirror, I was more in love with Elizabeth than it realized I could be. I miss the love we had, my years with Elizabeth were the happiest of my life. Elizabeth's son Damien also paid tribute to Shane on Sunday. The model, 19, took to Instagram on Saturday to call the cricket legend a father figure and one of the best men I've ever known, as he spoke fondly of his mother's ex following his sudden death. Damien wrote, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. SW was a father figure to me for most of my formative years and was truly one of the best men I've ever known. My heart is broken, thinking of and sending love to all SW's family. Warren tragically died on Friday at the age of 52 while on holiday with his friends in Koh Samui, Thailand. He died from natural causes, an autopsy concluded, four friends who were staying with Shane battled to save his life for 20 minutes after he was found unconscious in a villa in their Koh Samui resort. Thai police said that he was staying in the villa with four friends, and when one of the group tried to wake Shane for food at around 5 p.m. local time he was found to be unresponsive. Shane's manager separately confirmed his death, saying that the father of three could not be revived. Warren became a global star in 1993 by bowling out Mike Gatting with the so-called ball of the century, his first ball in Ashes cricket. He went on to get 708 test wickets, tormenting teams all over the world, especially Australia's great rival England. Warren's family will hold a private funeral to say goodbye before a state service is held in front of up to 100,000 people at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Close friends and family of the late cricketer will gather in Melbourne after Warren's body is returned to Australia from Thailand. His state funeral at the Melbourne Cricket Ground is expected to be held on Wednesday, March 30. There are no words, it feels like I'm dreaming, Summer Warren's full heartbreaking statement There are no words. 
It feels like I'm dreaming, waiting for someone to wake me up and tell me that you're okay. This can't be real life, there's no way that life is this cruel to the most beautiful people on this earth. There's no way that I will never hear your soft voice again telling me that everything is going to be okay, or how proud, you are of me, or simply saying, good night, or good morning SJ I'll see you in the morning, I love you. Moments before the world took you away from me, we were jamming to, summer of 69 inches and, I've had the time of my life. Talking about how much you loved that song and seeing your smile light up the whole room while we danced and couldn't stop laughing at each other. God you made me laugh dad, little did I know that was the last time I would ever see you dad. I'd do anything to hear that laugh again, anything to hear your voice, anything to have one of your cuddles, anything to be with you again just one last time. I wish in your final moments before you went off to heaven and before you took your last breath that I could tell you everything was going to be okay, and to hold your hand and tell you how much I love and look up to you. I took our time for granted dad and I would do anything to have more time with you on this earth. Our time was robbed and I wish you would come back to me, you may not be alive dad, but you will forever live inside my heart, I will cherish the memories till my time is up on this earth and I am reunited with you again. I love you dad, forever and always will be my father no matter where you will love your little girl SJ and I will continue to make you proud. That is all for today news, thank you for watching to my channel, please be sure to leave your comment and subscribe below for more news update.